This is a tutorial for Expression Design 3. Now I've selected a path here, just Andrew. So go to the Object menu, go to Stroke, New Stroke Definition. Now you can now define the stroke. So I now want this to be a repeating stroke. So right click, make repeating, and then you will see the start and end points for the repeating. So go to file and then close and give the stroke a name as well as change the width to maybe something slightly more useful. It'd be saved to the general directory for expression, expression design three. Now select the paintbrush tool and you will see the current brush that's just been defined over in the properties. So you can just paint there, you can see the Andrew, Andrew, Andrew will be repeated again. There's a bit clearer there. Right. So now I'm just going to go and do another repeat define. So again, object, stroke, new stroke definition. Select the pass and make repeating again by right click the thing you've got the uh, thing now you can actually select the repeating bars and, and then scale the repeating so actually when you come out of it the actual brush stroke will actually shrink as this is applied so basically it will end very small at this point so I'm just gonna just quickly show give another name to it obviously define the default width and again, let's say, peers in the properties, the current brush. And as you can see there, it actually shrinks, as you think. So it actually starts quite large and then shrinks away. So the end point is actually a lot smaller. So you can actually define that in the repeating process as well, in the brush stroke. Of course, if you don't use repeating, you'll only just get the single Andrew that will come across this. This is for, let's say, for expression design three.